Any commentary, Morden? Collectors destroyed, base in ruins. Extremely impressive. Elusive man will be displeased. Fortunately, not human myself. Not my problem. Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, good timing, in fact. Excellent. Made breakthrough. Can share results while next samples grow. Hate waiting for culture analysis. Never fast enough. Usually no result in advance. Just checking work. Have to be careful. Mm. Getting on You're very thorough. Discovery. Based on protein collector connection, can examine technology, chart read for species modification, fall of proteins. Ooh, tell me. Tell me what happened. Early stages similar to indoctrination. Can guess captured proteins lost intelligence over several cloned generations. Satellite documentation widespread afterward. As proteins failed, reapers added tech to compensate. Mental capacity almost gone, replaced by overworked sensory input transfers. Transmitting data to masters. Uh, can they be saved? Mm. Does knowing how the proteins fell tell us anything? You Probably not. We blew them all up. For the reapers? Not yet. We destroyed that base pretty thoroughly, and their ship. Proteins more than indoctrination, body modification. No self-preservation instinct. Old injuries not healed, no reproduction, just cloning. Technology overriding biology, not augmenting. Right. Part of culture, closer to husks than slaves. Tools for reapers. Proteins dead. Collectors just final insult. Right. Must be destroyed. I was on it. What is it about the collector's modifications that bothers you so much? Disrupts socio-technological balance. All scientific advancement due to intelligence overcoming, compensating for limitations. Can't carry a load, so invent wheel. Can't catch food, so invent spear. Limitations. No limitations, no advancement. No advancement, culture stagnates. Works other way, too. Advancement before culture is ready. Disastrous. Yep. There's that uh, ongoing theme that I mentioned before. Um, you know, the the theme of don't advance or don't take shortcuts in technological advancement. You got to earn them, uh, so that you know how to adapt them and absorb them into your culture and society. Yeah, go too fast, and then the problems that uh, Morden just mentioned. You blame the Solarians for what the Krogan did. We talked about all this. Like giving nuclear weapons to cavemen. Krogan unprepared for spaceflight. Technological mm. advance. Krogan could have evolved alone. Worked out aggression, been ready to use new tech responsibly. Right. Instead, Solarians came, disrupted Krogan culture, used Krogan as blunt instrument against Brachnai. Where'd you go? There you are. Foolish. Yeah. I didn't think you needed any more motivation than you already had to stop the collector. Well. Enjoyed challenge. Saw necessity of attack on collector. We've already accomplished that. Their work, my people. Hard to care about two armies, one wins, one loses. Always work to do after. Now. More context. See what collectors are. Right. Wasn't looking for other work before. Don't mean to imply that. Just committed now. Won't let you down. You yeah, haven't so far, buddy. You said the collectors had no art. I had no idea you cared about that kind of thing. Here we go. Personal interest negligible. Sang a little. Multi species productions for cultural exploration. Gilbert and Sullivan always had me do the patter songs. But not about me. Cultural artistic expression reflects philosophical evolution, interest in growth, perspective, observation, interpretation. Suspect you won't see any art in collector base. Culturally dead. Tools for reapers. Worse than the Geth. It'd be interesting to see more about Geth art. If you remember in Mass Effect 1, when we were chasing down some Geth incursions, they were, uh, in the final base, they were sitting there listening to a Quarian sing. Like a, as a recording of a Quarian singing. So, Geth have some appreciation for art, apparently. You know what we're here for. I'm sorry. I know that was important, but you performed Gilbert and Sullivan? I am the very model of a scientist Solarian. I've studied species Turian, Asari, and Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert, which I know is a tautology. My xenoscience studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist solarian. Outstanding. Thank you, Bioware, for that. Thanks for sharing what you've learned, Morton. Proud to be here. That was great. That was great. Uh, I mean, you just have to really appreciate the writers 
who wrote uh, who wrote Morden. I mean, incredible. Didn't expect you to light up that base, Shepard. Really? Hell of a way to tell the boss Are you aware of my track record? I wish I could have seen his face. I've blown up like every base that I've been to. Bad guys on the horizon. And now Cerberus wants your tail. Never boring, huh? Nope. And while I'm at it, thanks for diverting to the Derns back. I appreciate being able to clean up that mess with my father. Don't worry. Ooh. It will not affect how I do my job. It's over. It's all over, buddy. I think we're good. Bye. Commander. Thanks, Jacob, for keeping it uh, straight and to the point. Let's check in with the rest of our teammates. See what commentary they have on this situation. The situation being complete victory. Thane. Let's talk. You had to make a difficult choice, Shepard. Mm. For what it's worth, I believe you made the correct one. That's it, huh? Nothing else? I mean, you're right. I did make the right choice. I'm Shepard, after all. Yeah, you do that. Kasumi, what do you think about all this? I was just thinking about you. I mean, I can't blame you. I'm Shepard after all. Jacob deserves better than a father like that. Really? Are you hung up on Jacob? I, to shoot him too. I mean, probably. Liquor, liquor. Okay. That thing has a special yeah, yeah, yeah. We already talked about that. Bye. 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 She's on the radio now talking to me. I never want to go through anything like that again. But we did it. I can't wait to get back to Earth and see my family. You're welcome. Samara? I wanted to tell you, I believe you did the right thing by destroying that base. Oh. The elusive man thinks he has the wisdom to utilize it, but he does not. You're absolutely right. I wanted to check in. I am always happy to talk with you. I'm interested in hearing more about Asari Justicars. I don't think this is specific to the end of the game. I think this is just talk. We hold a unique place in Asari culture. Justicars are from another era. Young Asari grow up watching Viz about our adventures. Pure fiction. Some Asari are uncomfortable with us, but so few Justicars exist that I could have never met one. There were only a few Justicars? Mm. Few Asari wish to make the sacrifices necessary to become... It does seem like a pain in the ass. The training has a high casualty rate. It is a life of constant danger. Throughout the entire galaxy, there are only a handful of us at any time. Why would anyone want to be a Justicar? Uh, I mean, people like to be heroes, I guess. Central to your life. Man, Shepard is an the expert at stating the obvious. Covers every situation man can encounter. I have memorized every word. There is only the code. Sometimes justice calls for mercy. It does not exist to bring about spiritual enlightenment. Its purpose is to punish the wicked and protect the innocent. The Asari I've spoken to seem conflicted about Justicar. In this age, people see shades of gray everywhere. The code of the Justicar is black and white. I might seem a hero to many, but I would kill all of them if I had to. Oh, well, brutal but honest, as she said earlier. What role do you think Justicars have in Asari society? I would say that the closest human equivalent is a knight errant in your medieval world. Perhaps mixed with a bit of samurai. I mean, that's probably like what they wrote in their um, development notes when they came up with the concept. It's always a pleasure. And I like the way you make the whole room shake when you go into meditation mode. All right, who else do you need to speak to down here? Dr. Chakwas, how are you holding up? I'm still a little shaken from my abduction by the collectors. It was a lot to endure. I can imagine. Came so quickly. Yep, we were on the case. You're very welcome. Legion, what do you have to say? 
You feeling good? I mean, we're ver I'm very consistent. That's right. I mean, I blew up the heretic base. And in remaining consistent, I also blew up the collector base. So if there's ever a base involved, you can expect me to blow it up. I have questions about the gap. We need every advantage if this mission is going to succeed. Is there any technology the Geth can share with us? We have reproduced our ranged armament. No further co-development is possible. Did Sovereign contact the Geth, or did you seek it out? Hmm. Nazara, the entity you called Sovereign. Ooh, Nazara. I remember that. Like the Geth, the old machine listened to organic radio transmissions. It knew about war against the creators. Hmm. Nazara contacted many species over the millennia, seeking allies. What did you call Sovereign? Nazara. That was what the programs within the Reaper called themselves. Sovereign was a title given by Saren Arterius. Hmm. Saren and the heretics believed Nazara to be a supreme ruler, a sovereign. So there were multiple programs inside of Sovereign slash Nazara. Sovereign was one ship. You're saying there were multiple programs inside it? One ship, one will, many minds, like the Geth. Hmm. We study your records. Sovereign told you this on Ilos. We are each a nation, independent, free of all weakness. Right. A state compelling to the Geth. We are a nation, but interdependent. Separation is our weakness. Interesting. And so, like, you know, there, there's this idea that each Reaper is the essence of one race captured and, uh, I guess, preserved in machine form. Maybe the Nazara were a race, like Protheans or something like that, but older. Some of the Geth followed Sovereign. The heretics. The heretics accepted their technology. The old machines offered to give us our future. The Geth will achieve their own future. We already talked about that. Geth have a government? Not as you understand. We are all Geth. We build consensus. Most governments do. Organic governments impose consensus. From a single point of view in autocracies. By codifying the most broadly acceptable average of views in democracies. Right. So what makes the Geth different? Data is shared between Geth. All viewpoints are considered. Consensus is achieved as data is disseminated. That must take a long time. It would for organics. We communicate at the speed of light. Yeah, but even you can reach a stalemate, like you did on the heretic base when I had to bail you out with uh, the, the decision making. I'm surprised you can speak. The Geth I fought before just made a stuttering sound. We prefer direct digital transfer. Geth network communication travels at light speed. Human hardware does not support this method. Your analog world communication is inefficient. I mean, fair point. I'd like to ask about something else. Ready? I'd like to find out more about it. Topic. When we took you aboard, I noticed you have a piece of N7 armor welded to you. Where did you get it? It was yours. Huh? You disappeared. We were sent to find you. Why? You began where you first encountered the heretics. Eden Prime. After the old machines attacked, it was heavily defended. We were discovered. This is the impact of a rifle shot. It must have been a hell of a rifle. You've been looking for me for two years? We visited Theron, Theros, Novaria, Vermeer, Ilos. A dozen All the places that I visited in Mass Effect 1. Ended at Normandy's wreckage. You were not there. Yeah, we checked that out way back. Missions claimed your death. We recovered six debris from your hard suit. I, uh, we had, that was a minor piece of DLC that we did uh, many, many sessions ago. That doesn't explain why you use my armor to fix yourself. There was a hole. Hmm, so he's nervous. Sooner, or with something else. No data available. Okay. Keep your secrets. Shepard. What happens to the heretics now? Many heretics remain in isolated systems. It is not impossible for them to rebuild. There's still a chance they could attack again? I mean, they'd be severely weakened. Is low. If so, it would take many years. I'd like to find out more about it. We are building a consensus. 
please try again later. All right, all right. I really like Legion as a character. I can't believe you took down the collectors. I'm proud to serve under you, Commander. Hawthorne is still in the infirmary, though I think his pride is more broken than his bones. He tried so hard to help Joker. Ah, fair point. I mean, all he was doing up until that point was sitting here gabbing with you, but at least he finally did something. I assume that's him in the corner there. Mess Sergeant Gardner. Mm -hmm. Your ace is in my book, Shepard. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, Garrus, let's chat. Corsaren, now the collectors. Remind me never to get on your bad side, Shepard. Yeah. I almost feel sorry for the Reapers. Should be obvious by now, buddy. Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedonis. Whatever happened. Reapers or whoever else comes after us. I know you'll get the job done. You actually think we'll find something worse than collectors or reapers? I like to expect the worst. There's a small chance I'll be pleasantly surprised. I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. <laughs> it's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. If people don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about tracking Saren to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. Right. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I prefer blind optimism. We did race out there quickly. How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? With violence, usually. Hmm. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to go on steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? It's supervised, of course. Nobody of course. an injury that interferes with the mission. I mean, you sparring is fine. I remember right before one mission. We were about to Never mind the brain damage, I guess. Oh, yeah? I assume you took her down gently? Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. Mm-hmm. It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called me to draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. We uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in her order. <laughs> <laughs> she was really one of the most stress I could have done. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. That dumb look on Shepard's face. Catch you later, dude. Who else we got here? Miranda? Let's check in with Miranda. Let's talk about how I succeeded far beyond your wildest expectations. And let's reflect upon how rude you were at the very beginning of this story. We had to do it, Shepard. Taking down the collector base was the right decision. I know. The elusive man might not agree, but we had no choice. No, indeed. Uh, anything else? No. I'll let you Bye. Of course, Commander. We've already settled all your other business. Your sister's safe and all that. I'll let you get back to your uh, galactic dating service. The one that we found out from the uh, Shadow Broker base. Which, you know, we haven't been back there. We might need to go check on our investments later. We made several investment decisions, and we need to see how those missions turned out. We fought a great battle, Shepard. And when you blew up the base instead of handing it to Cerberus... Yep. Something to think about. If you killed the most dangerous thing in the galaxy, that leaves us. Ah. Just checking in. How you doing? <laughs> the hold is too open. Not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Grant would target here to scatter heavy cargo. Then focus on engines. Okay. That's what tank imprints show about human ships anyway. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this picture after picture. No help with finding the reason.
reason to care. What other human info was floating around in there? Less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. The Salarians, Sasari, all soft. Quarians, not so much. Oh, really? Turians, enough to work a blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. <laughs> much point. Something must move you. You're as genetically Krogan as you can get. Well, you're free now to make your own meaning. The dead, and I think weak. I'm supposed to be strong. My guts were grown from thousands more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak. Pitiful. So you started small, but you became what you are. Not everyone gets that chance. Yeah, you get to write your own story now, dude. Strength, but didn't earn it. I just am. Those dead were strong enough to try, even if they lost. The perfect Krogan, ignoring what made me. No strength in that. Man, just go shoot some things and feel better. What happened to the Krogan? Find a reason. Punch some things, headbutt some things. It'll make you feel better. Let's see who else we can check in with. Let's see what Jax thinks about all this. Down in her, down in her hidey hole over here. Oh, Jack. Hey. Um, that's it. Okay, bye. Okay, talk later. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. She didn't seem too impressed with everything that just happened. New armor reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profile. But engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizer. I love it when you talk dirty. Thanks for coming to get us, Commander. Oh, it was my pleasure. Slipping away. You arrived just in time. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe we destroyed the cholesterol base. Really? Who did? That's right. I'll let you work. Talk to you later. Bye, Tally. And what about Zaid? Does he have any comments? Slavers took a little girl on a colony in the Skepsis system. Girl woke up, fought her way out, got picked up by my band well on her way to Omega. Eight years old. She'd have had no chance on Horizon. Mm, doubtful, yeah. Collectors and Protheans. It's all about my pay grade. I'm more used to putting down rebellion, tracking down bastards who didn't pay their gambling debts. Still, even I know a galaxy shaking revelation when I hear one makes fighting land wars for pay seem small time oh you're in the big leagues now dude I should let you go talk more later you are definitely in the big leagues here alright I guess that's everybody let's check in in our cabin and having played things the way that we did Hmm, hang on a sec. Hmm. I guess it's not ready yet, or something. I was expecting something to be available here, but it is not. Maybe it'll be available later. You know what? We haven't heard from... I don't know if Liara has a reaction to what I just accomplished. I assume she knows about it by now as the Shadow Broker. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing, huh? Alright. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. Let's go see what Liara has to say about all this. 
you know, she might have a reaction. This shadow broker base. It's way out here. So we low. Kind of looks like a video card, actually. Wouldn't be surprised to see like a video card in that shape at some point. <laughs> when that back section is like uh, heat sinks. For... Let's see if our investment opportunities paid off. Warning signal, mission report ready. Success! Admiral Hackett and the 5th Fleet have ambushed the colony raiding pirates. And we got 2,000 credits there. That's fine. Bureauc bureaucracy in action. Mission report. Failure. The certification's antibiotic tests have been blocked. Oh no. I guess that was wasted, whatever it was. Smear campaign. Success! The politician retires from public service after your smear campaign. 5,000 credits. Just reward. Success. The police quietly slip you a cut from their raid on the Red Sand Factory. And I guess we have more missions now that are available as investment opportunities. Embedded correspondence. Citadel news agencies are trying to place more reporters in the terminus. Use your resources to set up these journalists with safe houses and reliable contacts. That seems worth it. I don't think better to do with the credits. Blue listed. The blue suns are becoming dangerously powerful. Run a galaxy-wide expose on their corruption and tendency to turn on employers. It will send their business uh, to their competitors. They do have that tendency. Let's try that one too. Mutually assured income. This is the uh, picture of Batarians from Asteroid X-57. When you enter the first fusion torch building, or control building, and then you turn the corner and then you see the Batarians for the first time, this is the screenshot. Classes between countries on the Batarian homeworld of Karshan are becoming frequent. Make sure no nation state gains more control than others by regulating weapons sales to all. I'm not going to get involved in their civil wars. Binary Helix is trying to develop hormone implants for Alliance soldiers that fall outside the genetic treaty laws. The company is prepared to be very generous if you let them know when Citadel inspectors. Nope, we're not doing that either. We're not doing either of those things. Ayara, what do you think of my accomplishments? That's it? What a disappointment. What a disappointment. You know, we never sat down and talked to uh, Farron over here. He has his own little iPod playing here. Shepard, glad you stopped by. You don't get many visitors. Take it easy. You've been through a lot. You're a Thane, but with different colors. I never did say thanks for the rescue. Same clothes. I never gave up on you, Farron. I just helped. I'm still amazed Liara came for me. I'll never forget what either of you did. I can log that in the archives for you, sir. I see you met the secretary. For two years, Liara didn't stop looking for me. You two must have been close. She's a good friend. Better than I deserve. How are you holding up, Farron? I'm... I'll be all right. I wasn't always strapped into that interrogation chair. Mm. Drell can mentally escape into old memories. It came in handy on the bad days. How many times did the Shadow Broker hook you up to that contraption? A lot. It gets fuzzy. He made the guards watch as an example. How do you think Liara's doing as the new Shadow Broker? You good question. Are almost fully recovered after a slight dip in efficiency. Slight dip. Ever since we repaired the network, has been glued to the archives. I caught her sleeping at her desk more than once. She's busy, but I think she likes it that way. What will you do now that you're a free man? 
I want to help Liara rebuild this place. But how are you helping right now? You just seem to be sitting down. Cerberus headhunted me and Liara to steal your body from the Shadow Broker. I was working for the Broker at the time. And he's the one who scraped up your remains in the first place. What turned you against the Shadow Broker? He started working for the Collectors. You weren't their first victim. Really? Him was an information trader. Not a slaver. Looks like you've made a friend. That girl who follows everything. I don't know why the broker kept it around. I'm a shell for a specialized data processing VI, custom built to your specification, Shadow Broker. It helps coordinate the network's massive information feeds, but it could use a different interface tone. You deemed my default personality sufficient for your needs, Shadow Broker. I wish it would stop calling me that. Take it easy, Baron. Yep. Thanks. You seem to be good at taking it easy. I don't see how you're helping at all, just sitting here. Apparently there's a piece of art on the wall. Weird. A video archive? Really? What is this console do? This is the video surveillance access point. I've queued up the archive footage you requested on your last visit, Shadow Broker. Oh, really? Remember, you can zoom in for more detailed viewing and can pause any time during playback. Wow. Um, I guess. What happens if you zoom in? Okay, play. Okay. Let's go next. Emily Wong. Emily Wong? What happened with her? She seems to be investigating a car crash. Okay. Fred Mazai, Citadel. Who's Fred Mazai? I don't think I've heard that name. Whatever. Next. Maybe that's a name from... Udina. Oh, Ambassador Udina. What are you up to? <laughs> He's having a good time. Hmm, Captain Bailey. Amazing, he was walking. He took some steps. This is this is really insightful stuff. David Anderson, Citadel. <laughs> Anderson just routinely punches Udina now. <laughs> That's how they resolve every debate. Gavorn? That's the uh, Turian that was trying to organize the Vorcha. Who's this? Just can't really tell who that is. Ooh, that's that annoying reporter. <laughs> Even Volus are attacking. <laughs> Keeper 20. That's the one nobody could ever find, man. Keeper 20. That's a reference to Mass Effect 1. He's always have one Keeper left. Matriarch Athita. Ilium. Uh, that is... Liara's dad. Yep. Erdnot Torsk. Tachanka. Erdnot Torsk. He's paying off Bailey. We already knew that. But now we have evidence. Okir test subject number 317, alias Grunt. Ooh. Ilium. What was he doing on Ilium without my knowledge? I mean, I don't disapprove, but like, when did this happen? Main 
This is on the uh, Hanar homeworld. Thane's just doing general badass stuff, I guess. She's chasing a Blue Sun's mercenary. The camera work is excellent. Oop. Tried to get away. Yeah, that's why we picked you for the uh, the bubble mission. Dude, there's a lot of stuff here. So many videos. It's kind of nice. Check out more videos on your next visit. Well, maybe. If there is a next visit. Alright, let's head back to the ship. Liara did not have a response to the fact that we destroyed the collector base. And uh, that's a bit of a disappointment, but that's fine. That's fine. Oh, yeah? That's kind of a disappointment. No messages, like she said. Hmm. Well, I guess that's it for now. We've done what we set out to do. And there's not much left to do in the game besides those two DLC. And there are some nice ones. So we will, in our next stream, do the Overlord DLC. And afterwards, at some point, we will move on and do Arrival DLC, which will be the final part of this Mass Effect 2 playthrough. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me. Uh, on this stream. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time.